Hello everyone, today we will discuss consequence assessment. The contents of today's presentation, we will start with what is consequence assessment and then we will discuss different kind of losses, how to identify and classify the losses. Then all the losses will be put into different categories for quantification and then framework for consequence assessment and finally, estimation of losses. So, all those uh, things are available in, in the paper, a methodology, a methodology for overall consequence modeling in chemical industry, uh, journal of hazardous materials volume 169, page number 556 to 574, which was uh, developed by uh, myself and my PhD students uh, N S Arun Raj. So, there can be variation of this approach, but we have tried to uh, incorporate all most all of the important loss categories and we assume that this will give you some idea and that how to get identify, categorize and estimate losses. So, what is our <coughs> intention? Our intention is we want to identify the full range of adverse consequences. We are discussing safety, we are discussing accident scenarios. So, every accident scenario ultimately will lead to different kinds of losses. So, our aim here is to find out the full coverage of the losses and obviously also uh, estimate aggregate losses. What are the steps involved? steps identification classification of losses, estimation of losses and aggregation of losses. The aggregation is needed because you may not be able to find out loss uh, calculated uh, from different uh, classes of loss um, in same unit of measure. It may not if it is possible to find out or compute the losses in terms of money everywhere then it is fantastic, but it will it may not be possible. It may so happen that you require to rely on sometimes the some experts opinion, some qualitative assessment, sometimes some kind of uh, probabilistic assessment, sometimes some monetary assessment, sometimes some kind of some kind of fuzzy assessment. So, all things uh, may require. So, under such cases aggregation is very very important. So, let us see that what are the different loss categories. So, here uh, under hazard and threats different categories are given and uh, if you if you look into the slide minutely you will be able to find out first is acute incident what happened in, uh, in, in workplace or soft floor or as such in industry and then continuous strain and impacts, then sabotage and intentional actions and then breach of accepted ethical rules and standards. So, these are all uh, threats I can tell you and these are threats because of different kind of hazards. Now, under acute incident like fire, explosion, occupational accident, toxic release, under impact or strain that is physical, stress, socio psychological stress, environmental stress. So, then sabotage and in, uh, sabotage and intentional actions that you know and breach of accepted ethical rules and standards these are also these are also quite uh, known to you. So, now when we basically write down the values associated with those threats uh, with reference to the threats to the targets. So, obviously, we have seen that targets are human, then environment, material, now production, data, market, all those that would be the, those threats will be there. So, the values and targets when we are talking about human that means any kind of threats or accidents ultimately leads, leads to uh, the loss to employees third party. From environment point of view, air, water, animal, plant, 
from material point of view building technical equipment infrastructure and you all know that loss of production and these two are very important nowadays one is the data information and knowledge another one is the market share profit and credibility so now you you know that uh, an, an accident can create bad image in the market and there may be situation when the customers will refuse your product produced if your safety performance is not good and at the in the other end the data is so important now because of this industry 4.0 and you are you gather data from from every sphere of your work work every equipment every workplace every human every movement those data are available and this data is the knowledge now so the data loss also may happen because of your accidents so that's why that they are, these all are very very important uh, loss categories so now when we talk about the human loss it can be further classified into that loss of life due to major accident loss of life with other accident acute personal injury chronic diseases reduced quality of life so you have to find out all those losses so there are models for uh, accident uh, cost of accident but it is it may not be applicable to all the organization all the industries so organization specific industry specific cost of accident model is very very important here we are not interested to give you the cost of accident model rather i am giving you the component which may enter into the cost of accident model so when we talk about environment environment particularly environment pollution point of view it may be air pollution water pollution or soil that is also very important one and then the pollution can be acute pollution can have continuous pollution so the quantification scheme will be different for acute and continuous pollution so then when you talk about the material that building technology these are basically that material damage so we can say these are basically equipment damage asset damage so lo asset loss something like this so any accident ultimately may lead to the temporary or or long term or short term stoppage of production during accident and after accident there is quite likely to have loss of production and and an accident may lead to loss of data or information and loss of reputation because of accident so that means you see that what are the different loss categories so there are 11 loss categories so we we hope that these 11 loss categories are quite exhaustive one and and there are scheme for quantification of each of the loss categories so what are those 11 categories of loss human already explained environment explained now when we talk about material damage this is basically assets building technical equipment infrastructure all those assets from production point of view loss of production data information knowledge point of view loss of data information and knowledge market point of view loss of reputation and accordingly the market share profit and credibility will go down so these two particularly data information loss and market share loss or profit or credibility these two loss they are difficult to quantify and ultimately i have not come across any cases where they are quantified rather other cases i i have some references somewhere that uh, human loss category, environment loss, and other things, some references. Right? But these two I have not come across. Definitely, uh, in today's context, they are important, and definitely some kind of quantification is already there, which I have not come across. So, what I my suggestion to you that uh, when you do a case study um, on loss calculation and when you try to find out the budget for safety so 
So, if you do not consider all the loss categories, then you may find out that the cost of accident is much less than what is actually uh, to be. So, when you calculate cost of accident, it is recommended that you consider all the 11 categories of losses and find out ways and means to calculate each of the categories and then aggregate or sum up the all those categories and finally, the resultant loss will be used for some kind of safety budgeting or when you do cost benefit analysis. For example, the cost benefit analysis for safety is that in order to improve the safety you may require to invest in terms of prevent in terms of intervention uh, implement design and implementation which will cost you. But at the same time you may be in if you you may think that that in that intervention cost is too high compared to the cost of accident and accordingly you may not uh, go for that costly intervention. But it may so happen that actually you have computed the cost of accident uh, with with incomplete information or other way I can say with inadequate information or data you have not considered the total uh, loss categories you have maybe you might have considered a partial loss categories. Most of the time we find that the human the health and safety uh, health and uh, safety loss this one this is in terms of uh, your uh, that uh, uh, some crack categories are there any fatality lead to 6000 mendage lost loss and similarly when there are some kind of permanent dis disability so equivalent uh, mendage lost is considered and then the mendage lost and in multiplying by the by the employee salary or wage whatever may be uh, that may be the compensation or the loss to the uh, loss to the company that way it is also calculated. But this is not uh, not the total um, this is a part of the loss categories. Environmental loss in terms of accident it is rarely calculated, asset loss is calculated and then uh, production loss I will or might be calculated, but actual in, uh, in plant I do not know exactly that how much it is done. But please remember that these all those cost components if estimated and summed up it will be a large one, it will be a huge one and you will find out the cost of accident is always less than the cost of required intervention. Okay. So, this is what is our different categories. Now, we, we will go for the estimation of loss, but it is not possible to compute all the categories. We will show you some of the uh, com calculation and rest of the calculations either you have to find out from the that published literature or you have to create by your own uh, you quantify it. Okay. Still cost of accident or loss calculation is a debatable issue and it is an incomplete one. So, we will basically discuss here uh, this production loss calculation, asset loss, human health and safety loss and environmental loss. And what I will do basically, I will give you some idea that how do you calculate all those things. It is not that we will calculate everything all the every aspects of human health and safety loss or environment loss, but we will give you some idea how to calculate it. Okay. So, first production loss, production loss calculation. Now, production loss incurred due to plan downtime and maintenance. What is downtime? The downtime is the total amount of time that asset would normally be out of service. Asset would normally be out of service owing to failure from the moment it fails until the moment it is fully operational again. So, if I say that you this is the time here the something that T 0 it is fails 
and here T1 it is operational again. So, during this is the downtime, downtime. So, out of service, the equipment out of service. So, now during this period, there will be loss of production. So, that you require to compute. Then, when the equipment fails, you, requ you require to repair it. So, that lead to maintenance cost. This includes cost of labor, spare parts, downtime associated with its repair. In some industries, particularly in most of the process industries, feed stocks and product wastage cost and recycling cost is also important when an accident has taken place. So, as a result, we are saying if you want to estimate the production loss, you have to find out all those four components. One is downtime cost, maintenance cost, feedstocks and product wastage cost, and a recycling cost. All those costs you have to find out, compute it, and add it, then that will be the production loss. So, what I will do, I will give you some idea of how to compute CD, CM, CPW, and CRC. So, let us see that what is downtime it will be basically the profit loss from downtime. So, this is downtime ratio contribution minus fixed cost. So, what is downtime ratio? Downtime ratio is T d by T p, where T d is the downtime due to breakdown, the T 1 minus T 0 is the downtime and then what is T p? Time available for production in a year. So, you have to compute it annually. Okay. So, one you will find out that there may be several accidents in the sense that several times the stoppage of production or failure of equipment and then in a, in a year you have a stipulated schedule for production in terms of time. So, that you find out and downtime due to breakdown and with particularly related to accident that you find out the ratio will give you downtime ratio. So, downtime ratio when when multiplied by that contribution minus that fixed cost you will get the profit loss from downtime. So, what is contribution? Contribution is CS, uh, CC equal to C SR minus C B where SR is sales revenue. So, what you a what revenue you earn from the sales and then the variable cost variable of cost of the items produced and then FCF is the fixed cost. So, I hope that you will be able to quantify this from your organization point of view uh, or the system for which you are interested to find out the production loss. So, this is a this is a uh, idea and some quantification scheme given to you. Now, there is another cost is called maintenance cost. So, maintenance cost has again the four component. So, you see that the C A 1 is the service cost and C A is the 2 is the material cost and C S is the startup cost and C S D is the shutdown cost because you require you may require to do shutdown and you and again then you also require to start up. In addition the maintenance service cost will be there and maintenance material cost will be there. So, that is why there are four component of maintenance cost. So, what is the service cost that is maintenance co workers cost C W and contractors cost C P C. What is the material cost? One is spare parts, another one is transportation cost, spare parts inventory cost. So, all those cost will ultimately go to the maintenance cost, then startup cost and shutdown cost that you have to find out. So, okay. so then production loss or profit loss from production that is the production downtime cost it is found out and you requirement to do maintenance and repair 
because of accident that whatever damage has uh, taken place. So, these two cost in addition in a, sorry in addition to that CDCM the CPW and CRC that is uh, feedstock and product wastage cost and recycling cost. So, all those cost you add up and then you will get the production loss. Now, we will go to see the concept of asset loss, how we will calculate the asset loss. So, what is asset loss here? The economic loss related to removing or replacing the damaged equipment or building. So, that means what is the asset? Asset definitely all equipment, infrastructure, they are the asset. So, because of your accident, so there can be removal as well as replacement of the damaged equipment or infrastructure. So, what is the economic loss that is our asset loss. So, now the asset loss calculations can be done by two formats, one is overall valuation of a selected section of the plant where the accident taken place and where the removing and or replacing the damaged equipment and infrastructure is necessary that is that section or individual valuation of the equipment and building assets or other infrastructure assets. So, that means you find out the damage area and then find out within the damage area what are the equipment and related other infrastructures the infrastructure that is that is uh, located then find out the cost of each of the equipment and other infrastructure and then sum of the cost that is your asset loss. So, individual valuation is preferred and obviously, it is more correct also. So, what you require to do to go for individual equipment uh, calcul loss calculation, you have to find out the damage area and then you, you also require to know the asset density. What is asset density? Asset density actually in terms of dollar per area that is value of equipment and other proper properties present in the damage area. So, if you know monetarily if you know that what is the asset density and then if you know the damage area multiply the asset density with damage area you will straight away get the value that is the asset loss. Okay. So, we will show you uh, the uh, approach and how, how to uh, get uh, accurate, all, uh, good good uh, computation related to asset loss. What is this? First one is find out the damage area. Now, this is our damage area. So, any accident that take place that that may suppose the you know what the accident scenario, the scenario ultimately leads to this much damage. Need not be that it will be just always the circular, it may be something like this. Okay. So, first is you have to find out the damage area and this circular concept that is better one because we, we know the center of the, the center of the hazard and if it occurs at the center and it is quite likely many most that means that it will it will affect the entire periphery and as a result what happened the circular uh, damage area uh, will, will, will be a good approximation of the damage area. Okay. So, now once you know the damage area there are techniques in chemical industry there are many software are used uh, to find out the damage area. Okay. Even Dow fire and explosivity index is also used to, fire, used to find out the damage area. The formulas are available. I think in my paper uh, we using Dow fire and explosivity index how damage area is computed it is given there. Okay. So, that means first find out the area, then identify the equipment building present within the damage area. We are saying building not necessarily only building may be other infrastructure that also you require to complete and then estimate the cost of equipment in the building. So, if I consider this, this is the damage area, so then you see that A1 then your A3, A4, A2, A8, I think A6, 
uh, these are the equipment and assets which are available in the damage area where A 5 and A 7 are out of the damage area. So, these two will not be considered but others will be required to consider. Okay. So, that means what you require? You require to know the damage area and also you require to know the what are the equipment building and other infrastructure that present within the damage area. So, then what you do? You, you, you calculate the asset loss. In order to compute the asset loss, you require to know the present value of the asset, then total replacement cost of equipment and building, there is one factor called Lang factor which is used for the evaluation and then you use this formula. What is asset loss A L equal to C i a sum of C i x i 1 plus d i to the power minus t i and then plus sum of C i x i 1 plus r i to the power of into L, L is the length factor. What is C i cost of asset A i, i equal to 1 to 8 in with reference to the previous and damage area and D is the depreciation rate because we require to know the present value of the asset, R is the interest rate and T is the number of years, L is the length factor, X i here X i this is a value, this takes value 1 if the asset belongs to the damage area otherwise X i 0. Basically, we are interested to com consider all the assets which are within the damage area. And why Lang factor is used? Lang factor is the ratio of the total cost of installing a process in a plant to the cost of major technical component. It will give you more accurate result. Okay. So, you have seen that how production loss is computed, the formula we have given. Now, asset loss computation formula is given to you. Then comes to the human health and safety loss. Please understand it is a very, very difficult one. So, health and safety loss there will be direct cost and indirect cost. So, so there, there can be fatality, there can be serious injury, there can be reportable injury, minor injury, first aid, medical cases, so many things that could happen. Okay. So, there will be direct cost means that comp uh, immediately that compensations, insurance, other related things you will pay. Indirect cost will be many. Indirect cost will be basically the victim's family will be suffering, the, the ultimately you may lose a competent person. So, its indirect cost is much more than the direct cost. So, although I have not given uh, much of uh, computation issue here human health uh, safety loss. So, but uh, in the in the paper what I have I have given in the first the resource please go through you will get little more uh, treatment of this, but, but there are many many papers available where health and safety loss calculated uh, different uh, sense diet cost and indirect cost are also identified. So, for the time being you please understand that direct and indirect cost both to be considered. Direct cost may be hospital expenditures, medical cost, rehabilitation cost, loss of work life, indirect cost of this loss of production in household. Okay, so, you require to true sense you require to compensate all those things and it is really very difficult and if someone dies so, there is I think no compensation is possible because you are not able to give back the life to that person. Okay. So, um, typical very very uh, that is sentimental as well as uh, typical uh, what I can say the difficult calculation. Then the, then the last one what we will discuss today is estimation of estimation of environmental loss. So, please understand it is it is again another uh, that complex one and and in order to calculate uh, the environmental consequence you require to have some knowledge of basically uh, uh, of the nature of the accident and how 
uh, how the, the action, uh, during this accident environment particularly the water, soil and air they are going to be contaminated or polluted okay. and how long the pollution uh, will sustain. So, there are many factors. In fact, I have given in reference uh, another paper which I published in Journal of Hazardous Material this is Varun Raj and myself has written this. So, that paper we have given elaborate treatment of all the factors and from different sources we have collected, we have taken data and then using fuzzy, uh, fuzzy mathematics we have also quantified the loss. So, as those things are again little complicated in the sense you require to know all those mathematics. So, for that for the industrial safety engineering point of view that much uh, detail things are not required. So, I am just giving you uh, some of the uh, that many factors that you must consider while you go for environmental loss calculation. One is material hazard properties, flexibility, toxicity etcetera. Then material spreading properties water solubility viscosity, then spreading condition water, soil, air, then quantity of hazardous substance which is going which, which basically uh, going to be um, going to pollute this one going to be released, then degradation and persistence of hazardous substances. Okay, so, what is degradation and persistence of hazardous substance it requires yes, some kind of science behind the basically the spread of the um, that means that chemical or hazardous substance okay so how long it will it will it will basically persist in the environment either it is soil water or uh, air so then the environmental loss will be some of the material hazard properties indices so all those material there could there are, there are many material handle properties so, there are material spreading properties. So, all those uh, cannot be just directly quantifying in terms using some scale or some kind of uh, your um, weight. It is not possible. It requires some kind of index because flammability is one kind of measure, toxicity will be another kind of measure. Again, in water solubility, it will be another kind of measure. So, you require to create some kind of dimensionless quantity which is called index. So, some of the material hazard properties index then some of the material spreading properties index plus some of the material uh, spreading condition index. So, all those index plus persistence time into quantity of that here we are we have developed uh, it for chemical plant for that quantity of chemical which is basically the hazardous substance. So, if you if you use this formula and all those indices what I have given already in our paper. So, then you will be able to quantify the environmental loss, but please keep in mind this will be in terms of index. Okay. Similarly, the health and safety loss also may be quantified in terms of index whereas, production loss may be quantified in terms of rupees and your maintenance law cost also may be quantified in terms of rupees. So, that means different losses in different kind of measurement. So, as a result what is the overall consequence? Overall consequence is your sum of production loss, acid loss, health safety loss, environmental loss. You can add other loss categories what we have discussed at the beginning in the beginning, but we have computed this four. But as uh, some they are computed in different units we are saying that you have to create an index. So, that production loss index is production loss by maximum production loss, acid loss by maximum acid loss, health and safety by maximum, this by maximum loss. Because you will be having different scenarios. So, for every scenario you will be having the all the four kind of losses and then if you if you create if you calculate production loss in rupees and divide it by the maximum maximum loss scenario then you will be getting index in the same manner index will be. So, all those indices will be added up and then whatever consequence value you got that is the that is the overall, consequence, overall consequence from accident point of view 
for your plant there are several hazards all hazards ultimately lead to several accident scenarios so you have different accident scenarios and for every accident scenarios you have loss and those losses potential losses are when you summed up as you have computed loss yearly so that overall consequence yearly consequence you will compute okay so this is what is the some qualitative treatment of uh, that is accident loss calculation so that mean what is the procedure you know the scenarios accident scenarios that is what earlier we have discussed and then for every scenario find out the damage area then 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 find out what the production loss will be there, what will be the asset loss will be there, what are the environment loss will be there, what are the human and safety and health loss will be there and you can add the data loss, you can add the branding or the image loss or other important loss categories which are applicable to your organization or to the system for which you are interested to find out the consequence assessment. Okay. So, this if you compute loss in this manner it is it is basically the uh, I can say that exhaustive way of looking into the losses and its computation. Okay. So, two papers in fact both fortunately I am also the author. So, the second one environmental consequent index here we have considered all those factors that material properties, spreading properties, all fact properties in appendix all those index indices are given and from where which reference we found out that are also given. And the first one which is basically in a short form I have presented today. So, if you are interested to have a have a higher, better uh, assessment uh, then you may go through the paper and you can find out uh, some more information some more way of doing things because we have used simulation and other things in order to quantify the uh, overall consequences with reference to a chemical plant. Thank you very much.